What is going on guys? In today's video, I am going to save your life and we are going to recover any cryptocurrency that you've accidentally sent over the BEP20 network. Okay, so basically, let's, uh, let's look into this post because this explains the situation pretty good. So this guy had Binance pegged Ethereum on his trust wallet, okay? BEP20 Ethereum was on his trust wallet. And then he withdrew that Ethereum to his Trezor wallet. And he says, I'm scared it won't arrive because it's on the BEP20 network. Does anyone have any insight on this? Now, this is a very easy fix, but it means you have to have two things. Number one, you have to own the wallet that you sent it to. In this case, he sent it to his Trezor wallet. So he owns it. He has the private keys. Um, but if he had sent the BEP20 Ethereum to Coinbase or to Gemini or to Binance or any exchange that he does not own the private keys to, he's lost it forever, okay? So in order to recover your BEP20 tokens, you have to own the wallet that it was sent to. You have to own the private keys for it, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to recover the funds if you have accidentally sent BEP20 tokens to your Ethereum address. I sent BEP20 Chainlink over to my ERC20 address. So now to recover that, we're just gonna go over to beefy.finance. We're gonna click on BSC right here and connect your MetaMask and hit this button, switch to BSC network. It's gonna add all the information automatically, hit approve, switch network, and boom. Now you are on the BSC Binance Smart Chain Network, and you can change between Ethereum and BSC. All right, so we're almost done. So now that I've added the Binance Smart Chain Network to this wallet, I still don't see my chain link. All right, so now what we have to do is add a custom token to this uh, BSC network. Now, the way we do that is you can either go to coingecko.com, you can search up the token. In my case, it's Chainlink. You can search up the token. And then over here on the right, where it says contract, click these three dots and scroll up. You should see this one that says Binance Smart Chain. Now, it might or may not be there depending on what token you're using. Just add it, hit add token. And then now in your MetaMask, you'll be able to see the tokens. All right, so this is one chain link that I was expecting to receive and now it's there. And we're almost done. Now, if your token is not visible on the CoinGecko website and you can't add it over here, there's no button for it, um, all you would do is search up the coin manually. So I would just type in Chainlink BEP20 contract address. And then it's usually the first one. It usually leads to a uh, BSC website, BSC scan. And this part where it says contract, you're just gonna copy that, go to your MetaMask, import custom token and paste that in there and it'll fill out the rest add custom token and there it is and don't worry if you don't see the logo it doesn't really matter um, what matters is that you have the right con okay so now at this point you have added the custom token to your wallet you should see the bep20 token be visible uh, but now at this point you can't move it at all the reason being is you don't have any bnb um, so just fund this account with bnb um, whether it's from your other wallet, send a little bit of BNB there to cover gas fees. Um, but you're going to need to get BNB in there somehow. Um, and you don't need that much. You probably need like five bucks worth. Uh, but just so you can withdraw this and do whatever you want with that um, token that you just added. Now, if you want to take this one step further, and let's say you wanted to sell that chain link um, on Coinbase or whatever, and sell it back for US dollars, you have to bridge that chain link from the BEP20 token, which we have right now. We have to bridge the BEP20 chain link over to the ERC20 version of chain link. The reason that is, is because whenever you sell tokens on an exchange like crypto.com, Coinbase, Binance, KuCoin, Gemini, all those exchanges, they only accept deposits that are ERC20 tokens, right? So you would have to bridge your BEP20 chain link into ERC20 chain link. And the way you do this 
uh, deserves a video of its own entirely, but I will briefly touch over it. Um, there are a couple websites that do this. So you can use the Binance Bridge, the official one. You would just connect your wallet up here and then add the asset, which is Chainlink. And sometimes they don't support the asset you have. So you'll have to convert it into an asset that is listed. Um, and that's what I mean, it gets kind of sticky. Um, so, you know, if I had Chainlink here, I would convert it from the Binance Smart Chain over to the Ethereum network, uh, type in the amounts, whatever. And, you know, again, if I have one, the minimum for this is 4.394. So each bridge is different. And like I said, this deserves a video entirely of its own. Um, but yeah, if you had, let's say 400 Chainlink, you could bridge it over and uh, do the rest. There are different bridges out there that charge different fees. Uh, another one is AnySwap. This one as well lets you bridge from the Binance Smart Chain over to uh, Ethereum, and they do not support Chainlink. So if I had some Binance, uh, some BEP20 Ethereum, I could bridge it over to Ethereum. And if I had one Ethereum, I would end up getting 0 0.98 uh, normal Ethereum on the mainnet. Um, and that's because the bridges do take fees and sometimes there are minimums. But like I said, if you wanna learn how to bridge this stuff, um, you should watch another video or you know just ask me in the Discord. Um, but yeah, otherwise guys, thanks for watching. If this video was helpful at all and helped you understand you know, the difference between BEP20 and ERC20 tokens, then all I ask for in return is give it a thumbs up. But thanks for watching, hopefully this helped. Stay careful and stay safe, peace.